Hi, this is Randy with Last Days Harvest Ministries. We just wanted to shoot a little video about the starfish, one starfish at a time. Our church has been handing out a lot of these cards, these red cards, so I wanted to put a video um, on our YouTube and our website because it says you are valuable one starfish at a time. And um, a few months ago I was reading a book and it had a story in it and I just want to share this is what the starfish uh, story means. So um, there was an older gentleman, true story, walking down a beach and a big storm had come in the day before and the night before um, and blown all these starfish way, way up on the shore. There was no way they were going to make it back to the water. And as the elderly gentleman walked down the beach, off in the distance, he could see a little boy doing something. And as he got closer, the little boy was bending down, picking up one starfish, looking at it, and then throwing it uh, into the ocean. So as the older gentleman got close to the little boy, he looked at the little boy and said, it's not gonna make a difference. And the little boy reached down, picked up another starfish, looked at it, and then looked at the elderly gentleman and said, it's gonna make a big difference for this one, and threw it into the ocean. So maybe that's you watching this or somebody you know, you're stranded. You can't get back to the ocean, that safe place. And if somebody handed you this red card and said, hey, why don't you watch one of our YouTube videos? We just wanted to make a special video to put on our website. And maybe you're watching today and you need to receive Christ for the first time. Or maybe you're watching and you need to recommit your life to Christ. This is a divine appointment. So I'm going to pray a simple prayer with you. And this prayer will be available so if you pass the video on to somebody else you're witnessing to, they can pray to receive Christ. Jesus said, if you confess me before men, I'll confess you before my Father in heaven. So it's important to publicly confess your belief in Christ. So just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I believe that you hung on a cross and that you died and paid for my sins. Jesus, I believe that you rose again on the third day. Jesus, I ask you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I love you. Now, the Bible says after you prayed that prayer, the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of you. Jesus said, I won't leave you as orphans. Um, I'm going to send the comforter, the encourager, the advocate. So one stop shopping. As you prayed that prayer, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, has come into your heart, into your life um, to empower you um, to love the way Jesus loves. So I just wanted to share with you that story. And as we've been opening house churches and ministering all over the world, we're trying to tell people, just find that one person, that one person that's stranded, pick them up and pour into them, invest in them, get them back into a safe location. And if you're locally in the Klamath Basin or anywhere, Bend, Medford, anywhere in Oregon or Northern California, we have a Saturday night celebration service here at the Chilliquin Community Center at uh, 6 p.m. We also have a Wednesday night house church here at this location at 7 p.m. on Wednesday nights. And then we have multiple house churches all over the basin so we can get you plugged in or maybe you need to open a house church. We love you. We're praying for you. And remember, one starfish at a time. It means a lot to that one. Let's help get people restored and valued and loved. Have an awesome day, an awesome night. We're praying for you. We pray over these red cards. You're blessed in Jesus' name.